Omega Game Framework for Unreal Engine allows you to easily create modular systems for your game. This is primarily accomplished using two features, Gameplay Systems and Gameplay Modules. Put simply, Gameplay Systems are blueprint world subsystems, meaning they are spawned into and exist in the game world, while Gameplay Modules are blueprint instance subsystems, meaning they are created as soon as you start your game and remain running until your game is shut down. To create a new gameplay module, we can search for it in the Blueprint menu. Or alternatively, we can also select Gameplay Module from the Omega drop-down menu. To add the module, go to Project Settings and then under Omega Game Framework, select Registered Gameplay Modules and add yours to the list. To test out our module, let's open it up, select Event Initialized, then let's just print out a string whenever the module is initialized at the start of the game. There you have it, our gameplay module is running. To access your module in Blueprints, search Get Omega Game Manager, then from there, search Get Gameplay Module, and select our module. Let's also add a variable to the module just to test out. And as you can see now, we have full access to our game module. Now this is incredibly useful for breaking up different systems that are meant to run for the entire game instance. However, since they run on the game instance, we are going to be limited into what they can do functionally, specifically when trying to access information about the world or level we're in. In order to handle that, we have gameplay systems. Gameplay systems are effectively like mini game modes. They are hidden singleton actors created inside your game world meant to handle various higher level functionality. We can create a new gameplay system the same way, by either searching for it in the blueprint menu, or selecting it from the Omega menu dropdown. We now have access to our gameplay system, and since it's an actor, we're free to add components to it as well. To test it out, let's go ahead and copy and paste our string that we used for the gameplay module. In order to use a gameplay system, it must first be activated. This can be done a few different ways. Let's search for Get Omega Gameplay Subsystem. Then from there, let's look up Activate Gameplay System. This is the manual way of doing things. From here, you can feed in a custom context object as well as a flag to more specifically control the activation event. If you want to deactivate a gameplay system, pull out from Omega Gameplay Subsystem and search Shut Down Gameplay System. This process will allow you to manually control when you want certain systems to be active or deactive. The other method is to have gameplay systems activate automatically whenever a new level is opened. In order to do this, we have to use the Omega Game Mode. I recommend any of your projects using Omega Game Work deride their main game mode from Omega Game Mode. In your Omega Game Mode, just go to Auto Gameplay Systems and select the system you want to activate. Now on Startup, if we look at our World Outliner, we can see our gameplay system is running. However, if you want to handle things even more modularly, you can activate gameplay modes from gameplay modules instead. In your gameplay module, simply go to Auto Gameplay Systems and add yours to the list. This will ensure your gameplay system is automatically activated every time a new world is opened. Note that this will require the use of Omega Game Mode. So let's try one more time. And there we have our gameplay system running. If you found this or any of my other work helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider donating to support my work. Links for everything in the description below. Thank you so much for your time.